can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so how is this? How much is this? How to find that? Two minus one, right? Two minus one, right? So it's only how many meters? One meter. Okay. So what tool? Maximum depth will be two minus one. That is one meter. Are we clear? Okay. Now part three now. For safety reasons, this is important. For safety reasons, the maximum height of the ramp above the ground is limited to two meters. Find the maximum possible width of the part of the ramp. Okay. For safety reasons, the maximum height of the ramp above the ground is limited to two meters. Find the maximum possible width of the third part of the ramp. Okay. Do you agree that the width is like that? Yeah, like that. Correct. Maximum width will be what? When y is what? 2, right? And it's correct, right? Because for safety reason, it will be 2 meters above the ground. Yes or no, class? Okay. So, I'm going to solve this up. Part 3. When y is 2, I'll have 0 0.25 x minus 2 squared plus 1 equals to 2. Correct? Do not be careless. This is 0 0.25 x minus 2 squared equals to 1, right? So x minus 2 squared equals to 4, right? So I'll have x minus 2 equals to plus or minus square root 4, which is plus or minus 2, right? So I'll have x minus 2 equals to 2 or x minus 2 equals to negative 2. This will give me what? x equals to 4. This will x equals to 0. Okay? Now, that means from here is 0. What is here? 4, right? Correct. So what's the maximum width? 4 meters, right? Can you see it's 4 meters? Yes or no? Yes or no? Can ah? No problem ah? Okay. So that is your second question. Are we okay? Now it seems very easy now because I'm doing it for you. The time you cover everything, you take the first step to do yourself, it's going to be difficult. Because you don't even know how to start some of this. Understand? What can help you with a diagram? Do you understand? Draw a diagram. Okay. Now next, I'm going on to more difficult questions. Can we look at question number 8? Next question. Question number 8. I will give you one minute to read through the question first. Question number 8. Okay. Can you see it's quite long? Alright, but sometimes long questions are better than short questions. Short questions are very difficult. Projectile motion. A circle ball is kicked from the ground. The height each meter of the ball above the ground at time t seconds is given by this. H is equal to 8t minus 4t squared. Express the function in the form H equals to A T minus P by the Alright, that Yes or no? Can you see this one? People will be stuck with you. Am I right? Okay, I'll teach you something up. Negative 40 square plus 8 T right. Alright, right. I'm not going to say that. Oh. I factorize negative 40. What's that? T minus 2, right? Alright. Can you see this is actually in this form already? Okay, some people cannot see. Uh. I'll go write it out. Uh, all of you look here. How come it's in this form? H equals to, now what's my A? Negative 4. Good. Then T minus 0, right? Then what? T minus 
too. Can you see this is exactly the same? You can see that's why I write the note inside for you. It's not in comparing to the Do you understand now? Can or cannot? Can you say, oh, I don't know, I die with you. Cannot. Must try. Understand? Okay, go. Now, next day. So I'll give only in that form. Part two. Find the intercepts and the coordinates of the turning point on the graph of each today's T. Now, can I put this off now? You understand it, right? Okay. For the intercept, this is part one. Part two. When T is zero, what is my H? H will be what? Zero, right? So what is my H intercept? It will be zero. That means what are they talking about? They have a graph here. This is H, this is T. Understand? Okay? Now, next. To get the T intercept, what is zero? H is zero, right? So when H is zero, I'll get T equals to zero, or T equals to two, right? That's here. Okay, so what are my T intercepts? Zero and two. Correct? Correct? Okay, then they ask, Turning point. Now, there's no need to go and go from the middle step. I think you something, huh? Can you see this one? It's your maximum point. It's like that, right? Alright, oh, yeah. why? The coefficient of t squared is what? So it's going to be like that. How oh, I know it's like that? Because this is 0, this is 2, ma'am. Huh? Alright, oh, yeah. and the instant of h is 0. Alright? Now, can you tell me what's the big point here? One right. I can find this point already, right? When x is sorry, when t is one, what is my h? Minus four into one, one minus two. So what is this? Negative four into negative one. Answer? Four. So this one is a one four. Correct now. Yes or no? So, turning point will be 1, 4. Is that clear? I'm talking to you. Is that clear? Okay, so next part, part 3. Find the maximum height that the ball can reach. Can you see it's obvious? How many meters? 4 meters, right? Okay, so the answer is there 4 meters. Are we okay? So, part 3. Maximum height will be 4 meters. Alright, now part 4. Find the time it takes for the ball to be turned to the ground. Actually, there's no need to complete anything. This is when the ball is kicked right now. When will it return to the ground? Two seconds later, right here. You see, it's two seconds later, it will return back to the ground. Are we okay? Are we okay? Yes, huh? Okay, good. Now, then the last part comes. A player whose height is 1.8 meters wishes to hit the ball as it is falling. Find the earliest time he can do so with his feet on the ground. This player is called Paul. 1.8. That means I will have two answers, right? Alright. Do I take this answer or this answer? What did the person say? Give me the question. The ball is what? Falling. This one is the ball falling. This side, then the ball is falling. You must be careful, you know. Okay, how to work. Okay, so I will write the board now. When H is 1.8, I will have 8t minus 4t squared is 1.8. So, I will have negative 40 squared plus 8t minus 1.8 equals to 0. 40 squared minus 8t plus 1.8 equals to 0. Alright? I'm solving for t right now. I'm talking to you. I'm solving for t. So, I'm 
So T equals the value. Apply the formula. Would that be okay? Now I have two answers. I have two answers here. I don't want people to be talking. I have two answers here. H equals to 1.7416 or not H. What is that? T. Or T is equal to 0 0.25838. So this is 1.74, 0 0.258. Now if you look at T, uh, on the globe, can you see that this is 0 0.258? And this is how much? 1.74. So at what time can this person take the ball? What was the ball that Are we clear? Are we clear now? Yes or no? Yes, huh? Okay. So everybody okay? Everybody okay so far? Because the time you're going to put this away and then you're going to do it yourself. Huh? Okay. Next, can you look at question 9? One minute. Read the question.
And on Friday, you are going to bring your e-max.